Uh, Hujan, what's up, man? Welcome to the show. Hello there, man. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, dude. I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, thank you for having me on the show, by the way, and uh, hello to all the audience. Now, how would you introduce yourself to the audience? Um, I mean, I would just say I'm just somebody who's like pretty new to the sector, I would say. I mean, I've just come over here and just kind of been clipping. Uh, I, I would say more people know me as sort of like a clipper for you at the minute, I would say, more than anything. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing mostly recently and then just having a bit of fun on Twitter, really. Yeah, I'm putting out a great amount of clips uh, about the kill stream, which helps immensely because, uh, first off, the shows are so long. And there are some clippers here and there, but, yeah, you've been doing the the heavy lifting uh, as far as that goes also as I look for my shit. Okay, so no, I good. really enjoy it. The content's been fantastic. I have to admit, sort of like these, like over the last like month, especially like the panel that came on as well, um you had on adam green uh i think it was matt jarbo and several other people and it's again you could just see like a lot of work had it gone in to build this not so jarbo fantastic. that would have been noteworthy yeah. but matt baker no uh, no sorry uh i i might have the wrong name i might yeah. have the wrong last name yeah that would have been noteworthy <laughs> for sure but uh but yeah i thought that was a great panel yeah, sorry, I do have the name here. Uh, Matt Baker, sorry, Matt Baker. I'm getting the names confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. It still fits in Killstream lore, so uh, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think things have been uh, going pretty good. I'm excited about next week uh, as well, setting the table uh, there already. Now, I saw you got attacked uh, by Salvo the other day. I, I didn't actually see it. I just heard about it and then saw, like, a clip or two. Um, yeah so, what happened there so basically i went onto a stream with him probably a bad idea um yeah ended up going on with him and just expected him like he said to me that he wanted me on to talk about medica and then brings me on and ends like oh let me pull up this thread on you and let me try and basically embarrass you kind of thing um and just try to place himself sort of like above me and that just doesn't really sit with me too well i'm not one of them it doesn't sit with me um so I just sat there and got into a bit of blood sports with him and just kind of took the piss out of him a little bit and left. <laughs> now, why do you think he... Is it just because you've been clipping for the kill stream that he's lost his mind on that? Or, like, what's the deal, do you Poss think? Possibly. I mean, I, I mean, he said to me a little while ago in DMs that I had have been, quote-unquote, killing it on Twitter recently and then suddenly tries to take an interest in me so it might have something to do with me being involved with you i don't know i know you guys had some issues during the spelling bee and then since that as well like a little bit i'm not too sure if much has gone on since then but One or two. um yeah so so i guess it's just kind of i don't really know i think it's just again it's just salvo being salvo and it's just i don't know again like you just seen in chat there you go salvo the snake <laughs> So the snake trending in chat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. It seemed like he just attacked you. Um, I guess because of the medical stuff, and just to like, because you've been clipping the kill stream, it just seemed a little, a little weird. Now, what about Medicare seemed obsessed with you as well? What's going on there? That was a little bit strange. I have to admit, seeing somebody as you know, like Medica punched down to me um but he seemed to take quite the focus on me after and it and it wasn't just me like this is the thing there's other groups that were triggering him as well it's a lot of fun for a lot of us you know like troll cow was having a laugh like laugh with him you had italians group you had the jackson six like everyone was but i guess he just sort of like pinned me which was hilarious i don't mind it it's one of them things i thought it was pretty fun to be honest the engagement um but yeah he's pretty salty isn't he like uh yeah I don't know, he seems to have gone quiet now, so I don't really know where that's gone. If, if I'm honest with you, it kind of just stems from, I think, the Jackson 6 stuff, and then just, you know, annoying people like Kina Shea and just doing our stuff in the sector. Um, I, I think that's it, to be honest. I think it's just pissing a lot of people off, and then obviously doing the clipping as well, and it's like, with you doing well, and then smashing out all of these clips and stuff, it's been doing great. So... I think Ash just kind of upset him. And I think most people within your audience will know the one thing that Jim can't stand is seeing you get a W. You know, the guy's pathetic. Um, it really has turned into that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It's just he comes over any time that he wants to have a little paddy about you getting a win. And it's just, 
I don't know. It's a little bit pathetic, if I'm honest. And then just, I, I don't know, some of the stuff that he ended up saying to me and the people he's going around with, like, quoting what they're saying, it's just wild to me. Um, but yeah, so, I, I don't know. It's uh, It's been pretty fun, to be honest. <laughs> Somebody said, who is this guy on screen? That's not the guy we're talking to. That's no. the guy who <laughs> set himself on fire outside the uh, Trump trial earlier today. I will pull up. Uh, Hujan's uh, Twitter profile here, though. This is who we're talking I do need to look into that a little bit myself. I haven't looked into that at all. Uh, like, I need to have, like, a proper look into that myself and see what happened. Yeah, this is who we're talking to, not the guy before. Um, that was the uh, self-immolator. <laughs> that was the self-immolator. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just been weird. Uh, how they've taken a, a sudden interest. They they don't like anything breaking their echo chamber. And like you say, if you take just direct clips of what I've been doing, you can see uh, that things have been going pretty well. Uh, that's it. I think that's all that it took was, was just clipping you a little bit, putting that on Twitter, and it's triggered them all. It's just like silly things as well, like this pancake thing as well. It's like how easily triggered these people get by just stupid little jokes. And it's just, I I don't know. It's kind of fun. Um so I, I don't know. We just keep on doing our thing, keep on winding them up, um, and yeah, I don't know. Jim Jim seems to have gone quiet now, so I don't know where that's gone. I did offer him a game sure of Battleship, so. but he doesn't seem to be willing to accept. So I don't we'll think see. it's too complicated for him. I don't. Think he <laughs> I'm not sure unless it involves lolly porn or something like that. He's probably not going to. Oh play. Jesus Christ! He probably won't be down to play it. But uh, Battleship is a classic, though. Um, oh, 100 percent. I just wanted to terrorize my. I don't even know how to play the game. I'm just being a twat, to be honest. But you know. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm still sure you could probably defeat him. I used to have electronic battleship when I was a kid. You just made me think of that. Um, so I played a bit of battleship uh, in my day, uh, for sure. Now, are you going to continue with the clipping? We're going to have you on the show some more uh, here and there. I just brought you on a little bit today to kind of talk about this stuff. Uh, and yeah. Salvo's attack in particular, which I thought was uh, low-class, Bush League. Uh, I, I won't lie to you, it's kind of wild to have all these things thrown at you from a guy who's had his career completely fall off i mean he got outed for being gay with edwin and all of this other stuff that went on i mean and then you have this as well where he got caught out at gay clubs and then this was all on a live stream and got extremely embarrassed so like i i don't know the guys running around calling people gay and things like this it's i i don't know glass houses you know <laughs> now i'll see i'll i'll probably have to upload that to youtube let me see yeah. here uh, if I can do that. Mm, give me one sec. Let's see. I've not seen this. It'll t it's not that big of a file, so we'll see how long it takes to process. No, it's not for kids. Okay, let's see. They always ask you that on YouTube now. Okay. I'm listed. Okay, so it'll it'll take a second to to process that. But uh, what happens in this video? Um, so he's basically at a club, and or or like outside of a club, sorry. And there's this guy that's like going around filming, and he happens to come across Salvo. Now Salvo decides to go and boot up a live stream, and I think this guy was still live at the time. I'm I'm unsure. His name was Frio, and. This Frio guy basically talks about how Salvo had been inside of the gay clubs and uh, talked about how he fell off. And then Salvo sort of like had to have some awkward call with him uh, where he basically took back what he said. But uh, again, it's kind of clear that this guy just felt awkward once Salvo called him out. It's, he was obviously in the gay clubs, you know, hanging around in there and then got caught out. And then again, this all unfolded on a live stream. So uh, it's pretty funny, to be honest with you. All right, let me see. Um, so I think the standard def might actually uh, be working. The HD takes longer, but let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, yeah. Salvo is 1,000%. Into men, he was caught going into gay clubs and becomes embarrassed when confronted in front of his audience. Story checks out, everybody. It would be bad if I said, I'm going to party. He's <laughs> got the Killstream shirt on, too, by the way. Hey, bro. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet. 
disrespect. <laughs> and then we exchanged information. I'm going to be interested to see if he has opinions about me after I, I walked away, though. Oh, this guy. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, yeah, he's got a pretty big following, bro. Pretty big following. Hey. Back <laughs> at you. This guy's good. He didn't have Band and Blade, but Keemstar did. He, he dipped off, bro. He went into the gay clubs. That's not true. That's not true. That's I just, He dipped into the He didn't even clubs. know where I fucking went. Yep. <laughs> Sabo then confirms everyone being gay, something he denied for months. The gate, yeah, you go. Yeah. And you came here quick. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's... It's okay, but... Uh, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong. See, I have a gay friend. His name is Edwin. Edwin. Edwin's gay. Edwin is gay? He's gay, but he's my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, I, uh, but uh, it's not my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johan, you want to follow us? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going home. Now. What are you going to? You're going home, hey, Johan? Hey, Thank hey, you so much, Johan. Hey, hey. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Johan. One Whoa! <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> this is awful. Sexual assault. Sexual assault. Anonymous said $1. There's 97 more of these waiting. Salvo. Go back, Salvo, in the outfit there. Very nice to meet you. Hey, this is it from when he was hanging around uh, the gay clubs and then kind of getting felt up by men. And then wants to run around and say this stuff about other people. Oh, man. Have a great day. Go drink some piss. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen uh, I'd never seen that video before of him being groped uh, by the mm -hmm. older gentleman there. Um, press G if that was gay, chat. <laughs> 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 I think that would have to qualify. Um, it's not just this. There was whole controversies of him having like gay things go on with Edwin. And a lot of people came out and said that, well, or at least he came out and said this wasn't true and said that Edwin wasn't gay. One moment he's saying Edwin is gay. One minute he's not. You know, it's it's kind of where then where it's like, I don't know, you can't seem to keep his story straight. So uh, I don't know. When you're getting insulted by a guy like that, it's just, kind of easy to brush off you know yeah and it's all kill stream envy too uh yeah like it's just because you've been clipping the kill stream you haven't said oh that ain't gonna stop they, they that's the funniest part they think that doing this is gonna stop me ralph it's not gonna change anything i'm gonna keep on going keep on smashing it and um there's not really a lot they can do about it <laughs> Well, yeah, I just want to let you on to talk about it a little bit. We're going to have you back on uh, some more down the line. But promote your stuff as well. Tell people where to find you. I retweet you a lot, of course, because you're clipping um, my stuff for one. But I'm, I mean, most of my stuff is literally uh, all on Twitter. So you guys can see my Twitter that's on screen at the minute. If you guys go follow me there, that would be great. And, um, yeah, thank you to anyone that does send me a follow. And uh, massive thank you for having me on, Ralph. Like, I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, also as well, thank you to the audience for listening. And, um, yeah, I'll be really looking forward to coming on and joining you again at some point. Yeah, and I'll just have you on for, like, a regular, you know, sl uh, you know slot kind of uh, next time. But I wanted to kind of address some of that nonsense there. Uh, and we did get the video in, so that worked out well. Um, uh, but thank you, sir, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Ralph. All right, peace out. Bye. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.